I'm Tabiso Shabalala. I am currently a professional banker. So if you want to be in banking, you can actually study anything, but the key is to always have maths. So you have to have maths and preferably at a higher grade when you're still in high school. When I got to university, I decided to do the science stream. Um, and I majored in uh, physics and chemistry. And post that, I decided I wasn't ready to work and I was still young. So I then did a postgraduate in law. That just mixed up um, my, my sense of business. The biggest thing that you need to be able to have um, as a risk manager is your ability to guide business. So you have to have that sense of advice. You have to have that sense of um, coordination. Um, you have to be wanting to collaborate with business. Um, those skills always come in handy because your job involves talking to other people and either telling them yes or no or guiding them in terms of what decisions they want to make as a business. Um, I think the biggest thing that I've done so far is um, leading people. I think often enough one underestimates how important it is to know your role when you're leading others. And there's a big difference between managing people and managing their day-to-day -day output and then leading them, um, which is making them better, preparing them for their next roles in their careers. And ultimately, you hold their career in your hands and it's important that you know and understand the role that you need to play there because you actually have to help them get to their next level. So I can say, when you guys start your careers, it's very, very important that you look for the types of bosses, leaders, mentors that are going to help you in, in, in your career and take you to that next level, um, but also challenge you to be a better version of you because ultimately um, you need that more than anything else um, once you're in the workplace. So the podcast actually came about during the World Cup final in 2018. We were watching the football and one of our friends already had a podcast and they were very much focused on current affairs and news. Um, and whilst we were watching the World Cup final, uh, we were discussing a business deal that was actually announced during halftime of, of that final. And it was a technology merger and acquisition. Um, and one friend and myself actually said we understand this stuff why don't we join these guys and also have our own podcast but we can focus on technology and we can focus on business and how those two things meet and how they're taking over the world and it actually turned out um, to be very fun successful um, and it actually led to us being um, guests on a number of radio shows and at the moment we have a weekly segment with the power fm on saturday mornings yeah, so if you want to be in the financial services industry, whether that be banking, insurance, consulting, uh, make sure that you're ambitious, make sure that you're confident in your own abilities, um, and make sure that you create networks with people who are already in the industry um, very early on. Uh, so obviously, as I speak to you, I'm one of those people, and I'm always open to chatting to youngsters. But make sure that you also have an open mind to learning because you will learn um, from day one and that's the most important thing whilst you are still young and um, embarking on your career. But also go for it and be confident in your own abilities. Um, you can always do it.